My name is Alex, um, I work for Braxia magazine, I'm covering the men's for Braxia. My name is Keisha, I'm an intern at Christopher Shannon. She wants from me, tell me what she wants. I heard that she wanted me. Tell me what she wants from me. They're telling me she's on to me. The cassette player show was fantastic, really enjoyed it. I love the colours, really liked the knitwear, that was awesome. I like the leather, I also liked the little bits they were doing to the hair. Every year she just keeps getting better and better and now she does a really good show, I was really impressed, especially with all the gold paint and stuff, that was really good look. She's gonna get it constantly, constantly. This chick's gonna meet the monster me. She's gonna get the monster. Yeah, she's gonna get the one girl. Tell me if you want it stronger. I love the music. Yeah. I was in my seat and I was like, yeah! <laughs> I love the show, there's so much um, freshness to it, it just feels like really, really new, I really, really enjoyed it. When the gold guys came out and the girls, it was just like, yeah, definitely on point, I really like what Carrie has done with the collection. Uh, with Carrie, everything's always fun, all the shows are always good. I really like the way she used Carla, and there's one jumper, it's amazing, with a lot of pink diver, it's like a plate, and this, the graphic is just amazing. Hi, my name is Andre de Bern. I'm a fashion stylist and today I'm wearing a vintage, well, vintage inspired cardigan. It's custom made for me and it's actually the same design that was in the Starsky and Hutch show. I'm wearing a jacket from Sick in Shoreditch. T-shirt is a beautiful waistband t-shirt. I've cut up myself. <laughs> uh, this skirt's actually from Primark in the South Fiber. And these shoes are from eBay, the £30. I'm wearing a charity shop coat, which cost me about two pounds. Uh, Indian rose dress uh, and Dr. Martins. My personal style is actually a little bit 80s. Sorry about my Louis Vuitton bag. It's my mum's. She gave it to me. And basically, when my dad and mum used to go uh, away, uh, my dad used to wear it, and he sweats a lot. He sweats a lot, and all of his sweat is stained the leather. But it looks really good, I like it. That is so it's probably, look, look at these stains. sweat stains from your dad. Nice. The um, necklace is from Cocon Co Co Tazai. Um, the coat, I actually don't know where it's from, it's vintage. Okay. <laughs> the shoes are vintage as well. What we've seen so far is the 70s, which obviously is a big story for women. It's going to be quite big for guys as well. But it's quite subtle, it's not about flares or kipper ties or big lapels. It's more about like the colours of horn with bits of mustard and orange. The best thing I've seen so far was probably today, which is Jada Branson. That's because he's my favourite designer. Um, and Christopher Shannon was also amazing. Um, and my favourite show out of all the women was probably Ashish. That's a good thing about London Fashion Week, like every designer is so different. That it's not really about trends, it's about making their own personality and that's a cool thing about London Fashion Week, I think, really. The atmosphere is amazing. Like, seriously, when it's, once you come here, you just want to do fashion. And just seeing everyone together and all the designers are talented, it's just, I love it. It's just a great place to meet new people, mingle and talk about fashion. Why do you think that London Fashion Week is such a big event? event? I think it is because all the other, sh all the other um, fashion weeks, they're not much about creativity as London. London, you see people wearing no brands like me, street style, and they wear different colours and etc. But whereas in Paris, Milan, it's all about wearing the brands. And that's why I think London is promising. Wink Bolt.